Papa John. Oh, Papa John. The mozzarella. Hey, he was like grilled cheese with gorgonzola, and I'm like, have you ever tried it? Oh, my Zach God. and I have been friends for three years now. That's half a lifetime in dog years. I found the only thing he loves more than food is the sound of his own voice. Little bit of butter, little bit of almond butter, little bit of peanut butter. My only problem is he loves to enjoy them at the same time. Oh, you take a pickle! Oh, you take that, you cop it up! He's a good friend as friends go. He gives me lots of walkies and scratches behind my ear. You put it in the oven for 45 to 4 hours! But how good a friend can he be if he doesn't show good manners? Oh, is taco salad just not a big round taco? Way back when I was still with my litter mates, I learned about using good manners at the table. Things like not blowing bubbles in your milk, slurping your soup, or saying excuse me before you leave the table. My ceiling looks like popcorn. And definitely not talking with your mouth full. <laughs> Using good manners shows you respect the people around you and you want to make their mealtime experience a good one. But perhaps Zach never learned. Perhaps no one ever taught him. Does that make me the bad friend? Am I to blame for his gross, unmannerly behavior? How do I bring up such a subject? Wait for it. How does that conversation go? They're really good foods out there, and you can't limit yourself. This is it. I'm going to teach Zach Lunch manners. Oh, doggy, what's wrong? Penny for your thoughts, doggy bag. <laughs> oh, doggy. Oh, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I never thought the table manners might affect you. Oh, I promise. From this day forward. <laughs> what is that? Oh, oh, it's a mango! It's here! Oh, 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 it's a mango! <sighs> I guess you can't teach an old bag new tricks. <laughs>